there we go. Let's try that again. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Um, we'll wait a few more minutes here for everybody to filter in before we get started. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, break into some Panini Select Football Mega Boxes when everybody does get in here. Exciting night. Alfred, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. We do have two unpaid teams. Let me verify uh, what they are real quick. Um, hmm. Unsold. Uh, the New York Jets and the Atlanta Falcons went unsold. Um, I would give either of those away for $2 a piece. No shipping cost there. Um, I can just throw them in with the other orders. So if anybody's interested in the Jets or the Falcons, uh, you can PayPal me uh, 2 bucks. Just let me know. First come, first serve. Uh, if not, no worries whatsoever, and I will, I will collect them myself. Can't say I'm the fan of the Jets or the Falcons, but, you know, maybe we'll find something interesting there. Looks like we've got seven people in the room so far. Good stuff, good stuff. You want them both, Alfred, you said? Or are you telling me to take them? Hey, my brother is in the house. What's up, Mike? What's up? How are you doing tonight? Guys, I got some nice card stands here. So if we get any cool cards... Uh, we can make use of these card stands. It's the hope. I'm sure we'll get some really cool stuff tonight. We get a box cover. All right. I was playing some Warzone. Did you win any games, Mike? All right. For those of you who are in the channel here, Looks like we got a few more coming on in. Welcome to the Two Brother Breaks family here. We're breaking some Panini Select Mega Boxes, whether you're in the break yourself or whether you are just here to hang out with us and talk some sports. We appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for joining us. I've got my dad in the house here with me tonight, helping out this break. It's going to bring some good luck to the Two Brother Breaks family here. Excited to have him. Alfred, were you saying that you wanted the Jets and the, or the, and the Falcons there, or were you telling me that you wanted me to take them? Just so I know before we break into this here. Inky, happy Friday to you as well. How are your Giants doing tonight? Are they playing? What's the PayPal? I will go ahead and message it to you. Hey, John, welcome to the chat okay uh, you that's my email right there Alfred uh, my PayPal is connected to that you should be able to find me on there just go ahead and send me uh, four bucks and let me make note on a Sticky note here. Uh, what's your, uh, what team or teams do you have in the break, Alfred? And or what's your eBay name? So I can make sure to send you the cards. Uh, it doesn't matter, whatever method you choose. Holding a 4-1 lead over to Cardinals, nice. I'm glad to hear that you are beating the Cardinals. Who's pitching tonight, Inky? Hey, Lester, welcome. First time here. Great to see you here. You have no team. Okay, that is also totally fine. Uh, when you send me your PayPal, then please send me your, uh, uh, your address as part of the message to the PayPal payment so I can uh, make sure to send it to the right place. How much shipping? Uh, just throw an extra dollar in there for shipping if you don't mind. Uh, so we'll just make it $5 flat uh, for those two teams. Really glad you're here, um, even though you're not in the break. Thank you for uh, thank you for finding us and hanging out some. Lester, Jun, who do you guys have in the uh, in the break tonight? What teams What teams were we looking to pull for you? Inky says Logan Webb's back from the IL. That's exciting. Not that you guys needed any more um, any more help there. Yeah, of course, Alfred. 
thank you for uh, asking if there's any extra teams. I mean, Inky, you guys are in first place coming out of the uh, coming out of the All Star break, right? Lester's got the Raiders, the Chiefs, the Bucks, and the Patriots. All right, so we got some Henry Ruggs rookies we're looking for. We've got some Patrick Mahomes. It's one of my dad's favorite players back here. He took him in the first round fantasy football this last year. Uh, everybody's like, man, that's a little bit of a reach there. But then he did a great, uh, a great job uh, for his fantasy team the whole year. And some Tom Brady's. <laughs> I'm glad you got the Bucks and the Patriots because the person who bought into the Bucks the last time we did a select football break. Um, they were looking for some Tom Brady cards, and we pulled two Patriots versions of Tom Brady uh, and somehow no Tampa Bay Buccaneers versions. And we were just like, oh, man, that's terrible. Like, that's really just too bad. So, yeah, awesome, guys. So 40 cards per box here. Uh, we're looking for some Prism die cuts. Uh, for those of you who are looking for cards, I don't know if you can find select football on the shelves anymore, but... If you haven't, check out Barnes & Nobles around you. That's where I found these. Um, so Barnes & Nobles is a really good place to look for uh, cards. And I think it flies under the uh, empty box there. Under the radar compared to Walmart and Target, you know. So definitely check out Barnes & Nobles. All right. Let's get right into it, guys. We're going to find some good stuff tonight. I'm really feeling it. You guys were uh, awesome on buying up all the teams. Uh, thanks to Alfred here, all the teams are, are bought up. So thank you so much for that. And we're starting out here with a nice Anthony McFarland Jr. Didn't really work out as a rookie for the Steelers. Nonetheless, a nice rookie hit for whoever has the Steelers. You can see here, if you're not familiar, uh, maybe for those of you who are not part of the break but are in here watching, um with uh, Panini Select products, you're going to have different rarities to the cards, and those are going to be signified um, with the design of the card. So these little circular features here, uh, that's actually for the lowest level rarity. Oh, as I throw a card there, the die cut. The die cuts always slip out. Um, the concourse level, I'll bring this a little bit closer here. You can see up right below the number, uh, it's a concourse level rarity, which is the lowest. Yeah, he's... Steelers for sure. Lester, born in Oakland, diehard Raiders fan. Um, and yes, that's why you got both. <laughs> yeah, Great, great card. Uh, great, great decision there. And yeah, um, here and here's going to be an example of the highest rarity. So Josiah DeGuerra here for the uh, rookie card for the uh, Green Bay Packers. And this is actually a die cut as well. This could be a white die cut. And you can see here under the level or under the number there, it says field level. Field level is going to be your highest rarity card. And it's in a die cut here, which is a really cool pool for the Green Bay Packers. Congrats, whoever has them. Here's another level rarity, an in between one, Cesar Ruiz. This is a nice rookie pack we have going on here. We can see that that is the premier level. That is the same for Panini Select Baseball. And then we have a nice Drew Lock die cut card here purple die cut we're going to see one of those in each of the packs it is a prism you can see there that rainbow reflection which is really awesome thanks alfred so who else is in the uh who else is here watching us tonight what other teams are we uh rooting for to get some really cool looking pools <laughs> a lucky token for you randy johnson yeah we can grab that Hey, Dad, can you grab the, uh, I think that in that uh, heritage box right there, there is a Randy Johnson uh, thicker card somewhere in there, potentially. Uh, see if you can find that. We'll use that as our uh, our cover-up. Yeah, we did We did have that Randy Johnson card there. Um, Marlon Davidson, and here's this die cut. This is why these die cuts really slip out of my hand. There's that uh, Randy Johnson card Lester's talking about there. You graduated high school with him. No way. Hey, Let, welcome to the chat. We're really excited that you're here, whether or not you have a team to watch the break. Welcome, welcome. Depcrom, 
Dolphins, Ravens, Rams, Washington, and Detroit. Let's get you some hits. Let's find you some Tua's. I'm excited for that. Lester, Livermore High, class of 82. I believe you, bud. That's very specific. And here's a nice signatures select card. LaVisca Chenault Jr. Nice rookie card. Didn't do the best this year, but uh, I think there are great things expected from him. Yeah, select certified insert there. I think with uh, Trevor Lawrence coming to Jacksonville, man, LaVisca may uh, end up being a really great player here. I think he's one of the more underrated rookies. Um, and here's um, the second highest level of rarity. So there's four levels. Uh, and this is going to be the club level. Christian McCaffrey there. Nice looking card. By the way, guys, as we're opening this up, please make sure to follow our channel down below if you have a second to hit that uh, purple heart button. We also are here on Twitch, and we have subscribers. Um, Jonathan Taylor, rookie card here. And a nice, we'll get back to that in a moment, a nice purple die cut of Van Jefferson at the field level. So that's that, once again, the highest level of rarity. Congrats to whoever has the Rams there. And right below it, another Rams, Kurt Warner, unbreakable insert. Nice looking card. And a rookie, Jake Fromm. Yeah, so if you guys look uh, down below the stream, uh, we have our first subscriber event posted. So if you uh, a subscriber on Twitch, for those of you who don't know, uh, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you actually get a free subscription if you link Twitch to, um, to your Amazon Prime. And then... Or you have the option of paying, you know, a streamer money. But we're not just asking people to pay us money. We're actually going to do a subscriber event. So on July 30th, we're going to have a live uh, snake draft here on our channel uh, where we're going to uh, have people choose teams for a Bowman Sapphire break. We're also going to have uh, two Bowman Blasters thrown in there and a Bowman Mega Box. But... Basically, what I'm going to do, Bowman Sapphire is a really hot baseball product for you guys who don't know about it. I'm just going to sell those teams at cost for what it got uh, cost me to buy the box. So, you know, $11. So that here's your chance to get in on, like, the Boston Red Sox, who would probably go for, like, 70 80 bucks. Like, you know, if that's something you're interested in, you have a chance to get in teams at a really cheap cost. Uh, so just throwing that out there, my brother reminding me uh, that that is a thing. Got okay, a nice die cut of Yetter Gross. Matos. I don't know this player myself personally. A Prism Concourse. Deshaun Watson, Premier Level. What do you guys think is going to happen to Deshaun? I guess he's coming back to play for the Texans. Zach Moss, rookie card. Nice hit for the Buffalo Bills. Field level there. Oh, nice. The Chronicles break. Very cool. All right, let's find some of those nice uh, rookie quarterbacks that we're looking for. There's four of them in this set. Bradley Chubb. Van Jefferson, die-cut rookie card at that club level. Another nice hit for the Rams. Michael Thomas, hot stars insert. And then a Ben Roethlisberger premier level card there a lot more packs left in our first mega box here mike's asking if anyone collects prism basketball we got really lucky and were able to grab some uh tar and other guys if you're looking to get cards retail target on random mornings there's really not a day will post cards on their website and the sad thing is, if it's not, there are some cards that will be what they call Red Club exclusive, where you need to be a Target member, like either via a debit card or a credit card to purchase, uh, and others that won't be. The ones that are not Red Card exclusive, Austin Jackson rookie card here, uh, are really difficult to get because people set up like uh, computer bots to buy them up real quickly. I've never been able to get any of those. Noah Igan. 
I do not know how to say his last name, premier level die cut there. And right behind it, a really nice looking Alfred, congrats on getting in here, James Morgan uh, White die cut at the premier level. And then AJ Dillon. Uh, yeah, so Target uh, had NBA Panini Prism um, mega boxes for basketball at Red Card Exclusive. Uh, and they, and my brother and I were both able to grab some. They were up for about seven minutes, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, so yeah, it was, uh, really good. Oh, Inky has one coming his way. Very nice. Yeah, Let, you know, we haven't been collecting that long either, to be honest. But, you know, that's kind of fun of it. You know, a lot of people are getting back to the hobby. Jake Fromm, rookie card here. And that's why, uh, you know... Yeah, we got excited about it. Odell Beckham Jr. A nice die cut prism. And here's our first Justin Herbert card. Turbo charged. Let's get that in a nice sleeve. We'll pull in Randy Johnson to cover up the next card there. Nice looking card there. And we'll actually, just so we have something... To display. Get this. The top loader there. And check this out. We're bringing in the stands. Look at that. Let's see if we can get on screen here as I say that. And look at how cool that looks. We like that. Turbocharged charger. This is so cool. Let's see what's on the Randy Johnson. Another AJ Dillon. Premier level. All right. Hey, for those of you who are in here, I'm sure there's a lot of football fans in here. The cover boy of this product right here, Aaron Rodgers, I want to hear your thoughts about him. Do we think he's coming back to Green Bay? Do we think it's going to take a new contract for him to come back? Do we think he's going to quit and just host Jeopardy? You know, like, what's going on here? You know, I, I want to hear your thoughts on, uh, on Aaron Rodgers. A nice die cut purple of J.K. Dobbins. That's nice to get that in the Ravens home color there. And there's the band we were just talking about. Hot Stars, Aaron Rodgers. Will this be the last year he has a football card? You know, is he going to choose not to come back and play for the Green Bay Packers? This could be his last year he has a football card. Yeah. Leave on a high note. Baker Mayfield, premier level card. All right, let's find some of those other rookie quarterbacks. What do we say? A.J. Dillon. We've seen him a few times tonight. Whoever's in on Green Bay, I hope you like A.J. Dillon. A rookie card. A Jarius Sneed. Die cut. A nice looking club level card of Tyree Keel right there. That's a prism too by the looks of it. It is. Club level prism card. Nice looking card. And then right behind it, a non-prism Tyree Kill. So guys, prism and panini, if you don't know, the difference between prism and a non-prism card. This is a prism card. Let me see if I can catch the light properly with it. Can you kind of see how it's reflecting every color? So like a prism. It's got that rainbow reflection going on. This one, I can do that all day and it's just going to reflect the white light. So... Rainbow reflection, white reflection when it's up in light. So that's the difference between a prism and a non-prism card. All right, Larry Fitzgerald, concourse level, die cut, Patrick Mahomes. I have to keep this like pinky down here when I open up these packs because these die cuts just go flying. Nice looking hit there. For the person who bought into the Chiefs club level die cut prism Patrick Mahomes card. Very nice looking card. Drew Brees. The Michael Pirine rookie card for the Jets. All right, guys, that's Mega Box number one. We got to find some more rookie QBs. I was not satisfied with the output of that Mega Box. I'm not going to lie. Let's see if we can do better in this next one. No C.D. Lambs, no Chase Claypools, no Justin Jeffersons either. 
Ooh. Oh my, oh my. We gotta do better than that. Let's start by seeing if I can get the box open. So that's always a good starting point. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Let's see what we can get. Jerry Judy rookie card. I agree, John. Need him too. Ugh. We've got some work to do. Jake Lutton's not helping us get there, I have to say. Here's a die cut of Tommy Stevens. And another die cut right behind it of Willie Gary Jr. Guys, there are a lot of rookies we're getting that I am not familiar with. But I do a pretty good job on keeping up with football players. Maybe you guys know some of these players. I do not know. Brian Edwards. We're getting a lot of rookie cards. I don't think they're the rookies we want to be seeing right now. Hey, there's our Judy. Congrats on that hit, John. Jerry Judy, concourse level rookie card right there for you. Nice skim on the books. Let's see if we can find another one. This happens actually quite often here in the Two Brother Breaks family. Somebody will put a name in the chat they want, and then we find them right away. I say this every single video because it actually does happen. Die cut of Van Jefferson. A nice T. Higgins, who I think is going to be a stellar wide receiver. Him and Joe Burrows, another A.J. Dillon. Guys, we have hit like seven A.J. Dillons. Uh, Joe Burrows really seemed to like T. Higgins as a wide receiver. And he's got a good complimentary guy in Tyler Boyd on the other side. I think that he's going to be a really good uh, second-year wide receiver. And I say that as a Steelers fan who doesn't really want to see him be a good second-year wide receiver. Adam Thielen. Guys, A.J. Dillon. Again. <laughs> this is insane. I Whoever has the Packers, if you're in this chat, Please tell me something about A.J. Dillon. I have no fun facts for A.J. Dillon. I know nothing about him. So if you're a Packers fan in here, please please inform me of A.J. Dillon. Oh, wow. Here is a nice-looking card. Lester's looking for Bo Jackson and Tom Brady. Let's make it happen. Let's find a Tom Brady. In the meantime, here's one of our rookie QBs, a beautiful turbo charge my dad will get another stand ready over there let's get the nice oh i forgot to put randy johnson over our next card there baker mayfield again thank you all right joe burrow Out of these two quarterbacks we have here, guys, who do you think's the better player? Who's, or who do you think, not necessarily who's the better player. Let's make the question a little bit more interesting. Who do you think's going to have the better career? You know, because that there's a lot more that you have to take into consideration. Herb, I'm common to, uh, yeah, let's try to at least find at least a common to. I think we'll get, uh, we'll get something better here, I'm convinced. You think, uh, John's saying, Herb, I, man, I think so too. I don't know if I believe in the Bengals to put it together as a franchise yet. And Herbert really looked like the real deal. You know who he kind of reminded me of? Or reminded me of? He kind of reminded me of, like, Dak Prescott to a degree. Like, he has a little bit of a running potential. Not a ton. But, like, looked comfortable in the pocket from day one. And was able to just bomb it down the field, you know. Mike says Hertz is the most talented. I was uh Mike and I got into wow, we got blank and chip, uh, we got a die cut kicker here. Didn't even know that was possible. A nice Troy Palomalu looking card there. He's getting inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. And right behind him, fellow Steeler, Alejandro Villanueva, who was not on the Steelers anymore. Do you know what team he went to, Dad? 
Was it what, Baltimore? I was just gonna say, was it the Ravens? I think he. I think he went to the Ravens. I think it was. I think the Ravens will take. Traitor. Yeah, Derp. I know he was. Yeah. There's another Troy Polamalu. Yeah, I think that, uh, oh, anyway, yeah, so my brother and I got slightly into, like, the daily fantasy kind of thing, so we were doing, like, 50-cent lineups on, like, FanDuel or, or DraftKings. I'm not sponsored by either of them, by the way, nor will I probably ever be, but uh, we, I had, like, Jalen Hurts in my lineup. It was, like, the first time I'd ever drafted him, and I was, like, up there in a big tournament, and I was watching a game he was playing, and he was, like, doing it on the ground and in the air. So I am convinced that Jalen Hurts is a legit guy because he looked really good that game. Oh, that's right, Let. Oh, here is a great hit. There we go. Let's get Randy Johnson over to the next card. John, you called it. It happened. Congrats. Die cut. I'm not familiar with the prices of these cards, so if somebody could price this card out for me, that'd be great. This is a prism club level die cut to a card which I'm pretty sure is going to be worth more than his uh, base card. I think die cuts in uh, select are worth a little bit more. Nice looking card there. Congrats on that. That's not you, John. Didn't you say you were looking for a Tua? Somebody said they had the Dolphins in chat earlier. Who had the Dolphins in chat here? Is it you, Depp? Or Derp? Derp. Congrats, Derp. Oh, Derp was looking for the common Tua. That's right. I did see that. I scrolled back up there and see that now. Congrats. Look at that, guys. Okay, so if you're if you're lurking in chat and you're looking for a player. We are now two for two with naming the player in the chat. I guess we haven't found the Bo Jackson and Tom Brady yet for Lester, so we got to get on that. Um, <laughs> Lester coming in with the fun fact, A.J. Dillon. He is a shorter Derrick Henry. All right. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's something, I guess. I mean, is he going to see the field, though, behind Aaron Jones? J.J. <laughs> Watt, die-cut Texans card. Jacob Isom, die cut in the white. So I think, I don't know if this is, if purple is the Barnes and Noble exclusive die cut color, but that's what's guaranteed in the box. And then this white die cut is not a numbered card, but it is a different like prism die cut insert. They look pretty clean. And then uh, Ed Reed here. Yeah, so who's next? Let's find a Tom Brady next. Maybe a lot of goal line touches. Okay. C.D. Lamb. Let is right. We need a C.D. Lamb. We haven't seen him or Claypool yet. Let's get them both. A.J. Brown. Die cut of Julio Jones. Going over to Alfred who picked up the Falcons there. Joe Namath. Unbreakable. Tristan Warfs. Rookie card. A lot of rookie cards in this select product, which is great. Oh, we've had a card under, we've had cards under Randy Johnson here the whole time. Were you guys just going to let me forget about them? <laughs> Come on, chat. Hey, Joe Namath was a Jets card, too. Hey, Joe Namath was a Jets card, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty funny. I have to say so myself. We have, we have these cards sitting here. We're like, let's find a Tom Brady next. You know, our Tom Brady's literally the next card just sitting here under Randy Johnson. <laughs> there's your Tom Brady Hot Stars card Tampa Bay Bucks we'll get him all sleeved up here before we send him out but Michael Pirine guys that was pretty great I have to say <laughs> yeah Derp are you a Steelers fan I, I'm hearing that that's where I'm born and raised Steelers here uh, in Pittsburgh here. So Steelers fans here, we do not like Brady personally, no. There's another Tom Brady, man. This is just, I mean, this is a legit thing in chat right now. You know, name, player appears. You know, as I'm saying, I don't like Brady. There's another Brady. There's another Jerry Judy. Yeah, that sleeped up right away. That's a nice field level 
die cut hit of Jerry Judy there. Let's put him to the side. And then right below that, here is a Jalen Rager. I thought that was a Hurts for a second. Still a nice hit for the Eagles. Ross Blacklock. <laughs> you live in Baltimore behind enemy lines. Ooh, I am so sorry, Derp. Ezekiel Elliott. Not the cowboy we're looking for, but a good one nonetheless. Russell Westbrook, die cut card. Joe Montana throwback. And a Darrington Evans, Darrington Evans. Nice field level card. But he's a running back in uh, Tennessee, so unless something happens to Derrick Henry, he ain't seen the field. Yeah, you cannot deny Brady's greatness. This is true. I mean, I do admit that myself. Like, I mean, there's another Jalen Rager rookie card. I mean, he's the GOAT, period. I mean, like, I feel like in basketball, you know, like, you now have some conversations. Like, I don't think so necessarily. After watching the Last Dance documentary series on ESPN, I think it's on Netflix now, too. Um, like, Michael Jordan is the GOAT of basketball. However, like... You know, LeBron James is at least making people talk about it. In hockey, you have a few different people. In baseball, same thing. In football, I don't really think it's a conversation. I mean, I think Brady's truly in his own tier. Um, it's a nice, nice Dick, Nick Bosa die cut. Devin Hester, Turbo Charge, and DK, J.K. Dobbins. Rookie card. All right, we got one mega box left. Before we hit into it, let's see what is going on in the sports world today. Because we like to talk sports here. My dad and I were watching the Pirates game uh, before we jumped over here. 3-1, to one, the Bucks are up. They must have scored another run. Um, they got into a fight, too, which was interesting, exciting for baseball. See what else we got going on. Oh my goodness gracious. San Diego Padres have put up 19 runs. 19 to 8? Oh my goodness. We'll have to go back and take a look at that box score. Brewers and Reds. Braves and Rays tied at 6. Man, could you imagine that the Braves could potentially be sellers at the trade deadline, especially with Acuna going down? Man, that's a talented team. Astros just chugging along, the villains of the MLB. They just keep winning. Inkies, San Francisco Giants, surprising everyone in that division, up 7-1. to one. Dodgers, 10-4 to four over the lowly Rockies. They did host a nice all-star game experience, though. Mariners, up over the Angels. Cubbies and the Diamondbacks, tied at 1. Red Sox 4 nothing over the Yankees, who, according to my dad, had a COVID outbreak. Blue Jays and the Rangers. Wonder if uh, my boy, Vlad Guerrero, let's check out that box score real quick. Did Vlad do anything tonight? Guerrero. Man, guys, this kid is a special kid. Three at-bats, three runs, two hits, four RBIs. Homering again tonight. Homering twice tonight. Oh. Guys, this is my... So, I like I mentioned, I just got into card collecting here recently. Um, my first PSA card purchase uh, was a Vlad Guerrero Jr. rookie card. Because when he started hitting, he was a... Uh, I knew he was going to be a special player. Uh, really excited for him. Every single night, I mean, when we do breaks, we pull up these scores all the time and we check out these box scores and we're like, um, you know, what's going on in the realm of baseball? I feel like every single time we pull up the Toronto box score, he has a home. Not only does he have a hit, he has a two, like, he has, like, home runs. Braves did pick up Jock. You're right, Inky. They may not be saying they're sellers, but I don't think they gave away a lot for Jock. Let's check out this uh, box score. I think I saw somebody say Cronenworth is hitting for the cycle. Yes. Wow. 
Wow, four for five. He hit for the cycle. Congrats to him. He is my number two rookie in this class, minus Keep Ryan Hayes. For those of you baseball card collectors, I think he is a special, a special player. Let's see what else is going on tonight. Are there any other? Uh, is the is the NBA Finals on tonight? No, it's on Saturday. Um, so that's probably it. All right, let's get back at it. Somebody said something about the hockey players. I saw that pop up. I don't... Oh, in hockey, there is no discussion. It's 99. If you take away his goals, he's still the point leader. Who is who? Who is that? Who Who is 99? You're, I, I'm not... I have no idea the hockey numbers. I, I watch hockey. I enjoy playoff hockey, but if you're wanting me to put together a jersey number with a player here. Is that Gretzky? Okay, that was going to be my first first guess guess. Um is he though? Is he consensus the best player? I'm pretty sure anytime I've looked up like, you know, goats of hockey, like Gretzky's not even necessarily number one on that list. I feel like he's top three. Spe speed's coming back in the what what uh what golf tournament's going on Mike right now? It's in the Britain, right? British Open. Is it British Open? My dad's saying British Open, but he's not sure. Derp is convinced Gretzky is the is the goat of hockey. And Lett is right there with him. Here is our third mega box here. Still looking for our Jalen Hurts. Let's see if we can add him to the quarterback collection we have here in front of us. <laughs> he's old. He's seen them all. I had a lot of fun going through middle and high school uh, in Pittsburgh, going to the Igloo and watching um, Malkin and Crosby play. And Flurry, Mark andre Flurry, when he was there. Um, those players were really great. I know Crosby's probably not the goat of hockey. I know he's not the goat of hockey, but I'm pretty sure he's going to be, you know, one of those guys who is in the top 10 greatest player list. Yeah, it's hard. It is. Yeah, it's definitely hard to comprehend those stats, Inky. Camille, Khalil, Khalil Mack. Jacob Esam. Another die cut there. Ed Reed. Yeah, better than Crosby for sure. CJ Ham rookie card here. We're still looking for that Justin Jefferson uh, rookie card as well as that CD Lamb. Jimmy G. Another J.K. Dobbins. Ravens having themselves a nice break if J.K. Dobbins is one of the players you're looking for. The Michael P. Ryan, we've seen him a few times tonight as well. Wow. That is a pretty impressive four-year stretch in hockey there. Panthers with a lot of random rookies. And here's another nice Tua card. Congrats to Derp who is in on the Tua train. Turbocharged Tua. So now what we really need is we need a turbocharged Jalen Hurts. If that even is an option in this uh, set. I can't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> Just took the raven so you can can burn him. That's pretty funny. <laughs> All right, hitting into the next pack here. J.K. Dobbins again. Jedrick Wills. Patrick Queen. And Jordan Brooks, rookie card for the Seahawks at that field level. All right. Josh Jacobs, T. 
T. Higgins, nice die cut rookie card for the Bengals. Julio Jones, hot stars. And another J.K. Dobbins. J.K. Dobbins right behind A.J. Dillon for most pulled card tonight, I believe. Could you imagine if, like, the most pulled card was, like, a Herbert? I feel like that never happens. Braylon Edwards. There is another Patrick Mahomes die cut premier level. Nice looking card there. Prism. Get him sleeved up as well. Isaiah Wilson die cut. Michael Thomas at that premier level. Or club level. So sorry. So yeah guys. We'll get these all sleeved up afterwards. Um, everybody who buys into the break. You know, gets a top loader, at least one top loader. Uh, a lot of times more if you have a few valuable cards in there. And we'll bubble wrap uh, or bubble mellers, you know, all the good stuff, team sleeves. So these cards will be nice and protected for you all. We do it well here. DeAndre Swift, turbocharged, nice hit for the Detroit Lions. Guys, he looked like the real deal last year. Braylon Edwards, rookie card. All right, we've got how many packs left here? we got three packs left here. We need a Jalen Hurts. Still would be nice to find a C.D. Lamb. Maybe a Justin Jefferson as well. Claypool. Claypool. Good call, Dad. Another Jacob Esam. Jared Goff. Hot stars, Derrick Henry. Heck of a season for Derrick Henry. Aaron Donald, who uh, stole Defensive Player of the Year off of T.J. Watt. Poor decision there. Two packs left. Julio Jones. Die cut of Brian Edwards again. Adam Thielen, wrong wide receiver. Grant Delpit for the Cleveland Browns. All right, guys. Last pack magic here. Let's see what we got. Come on, Hurts. Chase Young, rookie card. That's a nice start. We have not seen him tonight. Congrats to the Washington football team owner getting in on the action before it's done. Michael Pittman Jr., we haven't seen him yet either tonight. A nice die-cut card of him. Brett Favre of the Green Bay Packers. Last card. Not the rookie we were looking for. Becky Bet Beckton, offensive lineman for the Jets. Sorry on the Hurts front tonight, guys. We tried our best. CeeDee Lamb front, too. But the good news is we've got some nice-looking rookie QBs up here. Congrats to the owner of these cool cards and all the other cards we're going to sleeve up and ship out. Congrats to everybody who got those pools. Hey, thank you so much for supporting the channel here, guys, tonight. Please hit that follow button down below, that nice purple heart for us. And if you're interested in Bowman Sapphire, this right here, guys, like I said, consider subscribing. You can do it for free with Amazon Prime to our channel, and you can get in on this subscriber event on July 30th, where we'll be breaking this box, and everybody's a chance to get on some of the good teams and uh, it's at base cost, which is really nice. Like I said, $11. All the details are down there. Feel free to message me for some more. Also, check out on our eBay store. We'll switch over there real quick. We have some Stadium Club breaks coming up here on Monday. We're going to be breaking a Stadium Club hobby box and three Stadium Club blasters to go along with it. So it's going to be some good stuff. Um, Stadium Club's a really fun set. My dad and I actually were breaking some here before the uh, break tonight. Good stuff. Yeah, Stadium Club, Inky. I'll let you know. I'll send you a picture of what we get. I don't know if we're going to finish breaking it open tonight, but I'll send you a picture of all the stuff we'll get. Oh, yeah. My dad's going to go grab that one card. So, Inky, I know you got Keep Ryan Hayes. Uh, as your uh, like big size card, you'll have to check out what we got here. My dad's gonna run and grab it. Oh, half a hobby today. Nice. So you decided to go through the second hobby there. Nice, nice. 
hey, for everybody who is here joining us, though, once again, thanks again, whether you were here for, um, you know, just hanging out or whether you were here buying into stuff, thank you so much for uh, joining in. Yeah, check this out, Inky. We got a uh, supersized uh, Bobby Delbeck uh, shopping cart card, which was uh, pretty fun. Ah, uh, Terry Scooble Auto. Yeah. And uh, we also got a uh, the other notable hit so far, Dansby Swanson uh, Auto out of 50, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I think those are our two best. The other ones we got, we got some other cool stuff in there, but I'll let you know as we open up some more. Hey, Derp, thank you so much for joining us uh, tonight. Uh, thanks to you for buying into the break. Uh, and hope to see you again. You know, feel free to stop back in and buy into some more breaks or just to hang out with us. Yeah, be back for sure. Great. Love to see you. Oh, Derp, did you actually, did you subscribe to us? I totally missed that. Did I miss your subscription? You did. Hey, Derp, thank you so much. I don't know how I missed your subscription. I need to get notifications to pop up. Uh, thank you so much for subscribing, my friend. Uh, and definitely come check out that uh, subscriber event on July 30th. Um, we would love to have you. Yeah, awesome stuff, bud. Thank you so much. I need to make sure to get my uh, notifications on. I got to scroll back up and figure out when that happened there. All right, good stuff. Well, I am headed off for tonight, guys. I'm going to get these all sleeved up and sent out to you. Um, and, yeah, uh, thanks again, and thanks for joining the Two Brother Breaks family. Have a good night.